Hello everyone! Welcome to How to Make a 3D Dragon in Blender 3D version 2.0. Today we'll cover the basics, like the keys you want to get used to, as well as how to get familiar with the Blender 3D interface. First we'll cover the hotkeys. The main ones you'll be using most often are B, E, F, G, R, and S. R is the rotate key. When you select any faces, vertices, edges, or the whole model, this key will rotate them on all axes. You can be more specific on which axis to rotate your model on by using the Y key, X key, or Z key. S key is the scaling key. When you have your model or vertices selected, this will enable you to make the selected vertices bigger or smaller. G is the grab key. Select your model or any vertices you want to move them. E is probably one of the top keys you will need for 3D modeling. E is the extrude key. When you select vertices, edges, or a face, this will extrude the model in any way you want. Think of this as your 3D pencil. The F key is the face tool, otherwise known as the fill-in tool. When you select three to four vertices that are relatively close together, and then you press F, this will fill in the blank space in with what we call a face. B is the box tool, or the box select tool. Use this key whenever you want to select a certain area of your model. Pressing B twice will enable the brush select tool, and Shift B will select all vertices within that box on all 3D angles. There are also other important keys you will need to get used to as well. A is for selecting or deselecting all vertices in the model. Control Z is undo. Tab is for switching into object mode and edit mode. Remember that. Spacebar is Blender's toolbox. Control W will save your file, and X and delete keys are for deleting sections of your mesh. Remember, when deleting sections of your mesh, you need to select the vertices that you want to go away. Before moving any further, you'll probably need to learn what all these different weird blender words mean. Vertices are the small dots you'll see everywhere on your mesh if you're on edit mode. These are obviously selectable if you click them. Edges are the lines connecting all the little dots, or the vertices, and, the, and that filled in gray area between the dots and lines are called faces.
The first thing I'll cover is movement in Blender. Using the Shift plus middle mouse button will move the whole area. Using Control plus middle mouse button will zoom you in and out, and using middle mouse alone will rotate the area. When you are trying to select anything, make sure that you are using the right mouse button. And I actually do mean the right mouse button on the right. But whenever you want to complete an action, such as completing, uh, selecting the box tool, or extruding, or any other thing from the hotkeys that I gave you, you need to press the left mouse button for it to say OK. For you to undo the action, press the right mouse button. There are also many other things about the interface, but we will not go through them all yet. Instead, all the important ones will go will learn as we go along when we're modeling. But for now, I'll show you um, some drop-down menus and other things that might interest you, and we'll we'll probably be going through a lot through this tutorial. And that concludes the end of the basics tutorial. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more more tutorials coming soon. Thank you.